Okay, this video might be a little long, so I, you could always speed through it, but I'm just going to do this. I made this for my students, uh, my advanced 7th and 8th graders, and not too many people did this because it was multiple projects that um, it's an illusion of movement. And it's actually three sculptures. So this here is one piece, and then it's like walls going down this side on it, like a pyramid form. But when you move back and forth, it moves with you. So that's something my students did, some of them. Um, here's kind of a watercolor. I'll get a little closer on this. Um, I'm kind of fascinated with females with tattoos. Um, I don't know why. It's just, it's just craziness. Um, but anyway, so I'm just going to do kind of a little thing. Um, kind of going to be showing a few things. There's, again, my giant rainbow. Uh, that I don't think there's anything like that. And I'm going to move to here. Um, uh, oh, anyway, this is kind of an illusion too, but it's kind of cool. The nut is in the bottom, so it's kind of like in a parabolic dome mirrored and it makes it look like there's a nut floating on top. Um, this is some of that other stuff that I, I love. This is African too. I, I can't believe, you know, the time somebody spent carving on these things and making it. Um, that's my <laughs> watercolor of kind of almost like fish jumping at reflections of the moon, but only their whales. Um, this is a friend of mine. Um, I asked her to make uh, Edward Scissorhand. Uh, she did. Her, her name is Leah Selzar. Her and her partner are a great team. They work together. Uh, I just showed one of my friends this, and he goes, oh, man, that freaked me out. Dolls is, that are scary. And I thought, well, that is... I just showed somebody or put that out, which was a great, great thing. And that's another and carved gourd and there's that stuff. Um, kind of my, one of my paintings here that has 3D elements to it. So this is actually a 3D butterfly. I don't know, I get crazy and think of different things. Um, there's that one where I was making my comeback because of COVID, I had a eight month, just didn't want to do anything. Um, and that's another one of those 3D. So there's kind of, an eyeball, my eyeball, and the flowering, and then of course this is another 3D uh, thing. Um, there's my metamorphosis sculpture, and then right there's the butterfly thing. This is another, uh, some people have seen this before, so I, you can always speed up through that, but it's kind of a cool effect of being on top of a hill looking down from Oregon. Um, there's kind of a watercolor study of birds and pterosaurs. You know, there's a pterosaur right there, and another one right there, and then kind of <laughs> my saber tooth cat, which I love. Um, and then there's kind of like a, a rain. I, for some reason, rainbows and butterflies just make me crazy. Uh, again, you know, I, I never showed this part before, so, um, you know, that's what I do. I just spend time, and like I said, nothing's ever finished. I will go back in here and see little things and shadows or whatever. That's a self-portrait of my wife, Karen, and me, and this right here, that seed, is Lauren. It has kind of like an Adam and Eve type thing, but this is a pencil rendering. And you can't really see the pencil strokes, but this is maybe 50 or 70 layers of graphite over and over and over and over and over. And just building up, because it's all the number two pencil. Um, so, and then kind of my, you, know, you can't see that. And, well, sorry about the reflections, but that's kind of, the way it is, so there's my eye. And I need more eyelashes, like, 
yeah, I could have finished that. I added some more paintings, and that's the reason why I'm doing this stuff. Um, so I'm adding more stuff. I, I don't know. I, I haven't added stuff in a long time, so that's a little beaver skull and some of my... Actually, this is... The last thing I've given Karen... Um, uh, she loved fire opal and had one of the Native American women at the school actually make it for her. It's a beautiful piece. Fire coral is, but it's fire coral actually, um, is really hard to come by. Um, and there's a lot of fake stuff out there, but if you get it from a Native American, uh, you have a 90% chance of getting the real thing. Um, there's kind of a, I don't know if I showed people this, a close of this, but this is one of my 17 whales at the Long Beach slash uh, Leo Cabrillo Aquarium, all 20th scale. So they're scientific, so it's not like, yeah, anyway. And again, this is my daughter's favorite rendering pencil with acrylics. Um, so... Uh, there's a friend of mine's actually photo that I, I use, Leo Delion, and I, he's a great photographer. Um, and that's kind of what's, uh, that's the horrible day coming up soon of, uh, Karen's departure. And that's, yeah, when we got married. Uh, I added a lot more new things because I just remembered Raul Jimenez's walls being covered with artwork. So again, you know, some of this, I did this just to mess with the entomologists at work. So these insects don't have, um, <laughs> well, one of them, they don't have antenna and one of them is missing a leg and it just makes entomologists crazy. Another watercolor, you know, some of that stuff is pretty crazy detail. Um, again, that's my, we had a Carnotaurus at the museum. And then this is that crazy one that started off as scribbles. And then I try to see what I can make out. Of course, that's like, would be a seahorse, but it doesn't look like much. But when I look at it, I see different things or flip it upside down. And there's a lot of things to see in here. Kind of hope I don't make this thing too long. Same thing with this. It started off like this, just random scribbling. And that is an abstract, but then when I keep looking at it, I start to see different things. So, uh, you know, that this is, there were, this side is the same as, as the other side, but, you know, I could, I see a lot of different things when I'm painting. So anyway, um, there's a uh, old portrait of me, kind of whatever. Um, and one of my other paintings. This is a friend of mine. Um, she used to cut my hair, but again with that same, you know, uh, women with tattoos. It just makes me want to paint them. I don't know why. I, it just, it's like a. She's beautiful. That's an art form. There, it's, this is all pencil, and into the watercolor. So it's just kind of what I do. Uh, this is, of course, the painting I did when I was 12. Actually, I found 12. I thought it was 13, but it was actually 12. But maybe finished it when I was 13, I don't know. So I added a lot more things in my studio, dash, whatever, um, sanctuary. Um, so you can see, oh, that's the other old kind of portrait and kind of some of these are in YouTube but mainly um, here um, again there's another one in Karen and myself getting married in Kauai on a deserted beach and there's another one here um, this one is a self-portrait um, but I call it an unfinished life because this is a self-portrait and it's something that means that my life is not 
finished yet so the detail here is a lot more and as it goes through the cycle of my life um, that's kind of a dark period of my life uh, Karen involved and then this coming down to my eyes like very loose and not finished so that's my future hopefully um, like I said, I got a lot of stuff. Some people might might get offended by this, but uh, I thought it was hilarious because I'm warped. Yeah, kitty, 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 kitty. Yeah, kitty, 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 kitty. <laughs> anyway, that's again my I love, I love toys or interesting things. Galileo thermometer. This was the um, design I was going to do for the backyard. Got the flagstone in there, but I never got around to making the, the top part. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of stuff in here. My baskets that I love, Zulu Warriors and Arrowheads. and diff Anyway, that I'm going to call it here. Sorry about this being so long.